Let's talk about this extraordinary uh, story. I woke up to it. My colleague uh, Ricky sent me the story with a with a morning email. And I thought it was April Fool's Day because this mm -hmm. is a school in Australia that has asked all of the male pupils to stand in front of all of the female pupils and apologize for rape on behalf of their entire gender. Yeah. So, I mean, parents have been kicking off about this. And, I, you know, if I ever had children, I imagine I'd be pretty miffed about this too it, apparently students have been left completely mortified after they've been forced in these assemblies to actually apologize to their female classmates for sexual assaults committed by males now reports suggest that one lad came home and he said mum i'm not a rapist and i think whilst you know it might be absolutely fine to talk about it, issues around consent and as, as far as sex and relationship education is concerned i think telling young lads, telling these poor boys that we've spent no doubt the last 12 months around, across the West telling white boys that they've got to get on bended knee and apologize for their immutable characteristics, for the color of their skin, for their inherent privilege. And now we're trying to convince all boys that they better watch out because they might turn out to be violent oppressors of women. You know, Mark, I don't know about you, but I don't think we actually need these ritualistic and no doubt cringeworthy assembly sessions in which we impugn some young person because he happens to have a penis. I think it's a truly horrific thing to have done to children. And we've just got to get politics out of our classrooms and frankly I think it's sick and these schools should get back to educating and refrain from the social justice politics that is no doubt damaging for children. Well, well the, the crime of rape is the most unimaginably Absolutely. App appalling crime and we can of course all agree about that um, but I think a school has a duty of care to all of its pupils for their welfare and I'm just wondering whether this is actually mentally damaging for these young boys whether this is are going to be scarring for them, leave them traumatised, leave them with major emotional problems, having had to sort of apologise for these awful crimes on someone else's behalf. I think it must be. And I think uh, the problem with bringing politics into the classroom to the extent to which we are at the minute, and that's across the West, it's not limited to Australia by any stretch of the imagination. But the climate change issue, Mark, look at that. The, the fact that we've got kids going to bed absolutely terrified because Greta and her teenage tantrum have convinced them that we're all going to die in either a ball of flames or drown to death. All of these things suggest to me that actually bringing politics so close to the classroom and not letting our kids be kids is having such a detrimental impact upon the mental health, upon their development. And there are so many ways in which I just say, let kids be kids because the damage we must be doing to them at the minute, never mind what the idea of this pandemic and being nothing more than a vector of the virus must be doing to them. I think it really is time for a, a bit of a rethink and a, a, I think just getting it right out of the class. Always unmissable. My deepest thanks to Darren Grimes, Britain's most compelling commentator, director at Reasoned UK, a very popular conservative channel that you can see now on YouTube. Always worth a look.